What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Gavin Richard presents only on my channel here, Gboo2786. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you all are doing blessed and safe. We have uh, breaking news today to announce. Uh, you guys have been, a, if you know my channel, you've been friends, and all of my friends who have been on this channel and subscribers, you know that I have rocked hard with this Bill Cosby case and for Bill Cosby because I felt, especially as an attorney, that due process failed in this case. And it seems like in a, it, that the Supreme Court has heard our cries. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania has agreed today to hear an appeal on behalf of Bill Cosby that was filed by his attorneys uh, several week, only less than several weeks after the court of several months, I should say, after the Court of Appeals in Pennsylvania had denied Mr. Cosby's uh, case for an appeal. Earlier today, it was reported that. If, and from the AP and from YC News that the Pennsylvania's highest court will review the trial decision to let five other accusers testify at Bill Cosby's sexual assault trial in 2018, which ended in, with the longtime TV star's conviction. They have also agreed to review two aspects of the case, including the judge's decision to let not only those pr uh, prior bad act witnesses to testify, but also to look at the... Uh, decision or agreement that Bill Cosby had with the former prosecutor Bruce Castor that he would never be charged in the case. Cosby has said he relied on the alleged promise before agreeing to give the deposition in trial accuses Andrea Constan's lawsuit. That is correct. And I can't reiterate this over and over and time and time because I keep telling you guys this. Bill Cosby was never convicted on rape and people keep calling him America's favorite rapist and convicted rapist he was not convicted for that he was convicted on an indecent sexual assault charge which Andrea Constan had agreed to take a, a settlement for 3.4 billion dollars of course uh, in the system of racism and white supremacy I'm white and I say so applies regardless of any agreements legal binding things they decided to change the rules and there was even dispute as to whether or not the uh, crime had actually happened within the statute of limitations. As you see here, those issues have been at the heart of the case since Cosby was charged in December 2015, which of course was days before the statute of limitations was set to expire. But according to Tom Mesereau, uh it had expired actually before that. They had a statute of limitations defense. They had records that showed that Bill Cosby was not uh, in Pennsylvania at the time Andrea Constan was talking about. And you will all find out that later in a project that I have coming up that's going to be available uh, perhaps by the end of the year. But I won't say any more on that right now. But for now, family, this is actually great news. And of course, if you see the headline, it says Bill Cosby appeal will test the scope of Me Too prosecutions. And I was talking to a fellow attorney about this. Shout out to Andrew if you're listening to uh, the recording right now to the channel. Shout out to him. Uh, I think this ties in also with the Harvey Weinstein case. Because now that Weinstein is also in jail, and from a legal aspect, from what I've looked at even in that case, there was a lot of bullshit that was, with, that was put on in that trial from witness testimonies. Uh, you know, from Annabella Sciorria and a couple other witnesses, there's a reason why, of course, some of those charges got dismissed, or I should say, uh, one of them got dismissed, and of course, one a couple he was acquitted on. I think that that was was uh, the fact that he got convicted was a ringer for, you know, I think for the high court and others to consider because a white man is now in jail or, well not even a white man but a Jewish man with money uh, being accused of sexual assault and on the flimsiest of evidence you know there's no rape kit there's no DNA evidence nothing at all and you know Bill Cosby of course he was the poster boy uh, for all of this because he was the biggest star out of all of those that have been accused of this now of course, earlier it was reported that Danny Matheson, uh, the guy from that 70s show, he's being accused of rape. Uh, he's been formally charged despite, uh, you know, him having accusations from years ago. And even the police uh, officers in Los Angeles 
had declined to press charges. So I don't know what changed now, what was the difference, but uh, he's been charged, and especially two, three years after he was fired from the show The Ranch, which is on Netflix. But, uh, yeah, but Bill Cosby, this is a great victory for him. Uh, the fact that they're going to hear it now, what happens at the uh, appeals uh, hearing uh, is remains to be seen. Bill Cosby's uh, Bill Cosby's uh, spokesperson, Andrew Wyatt, issued a statement on this past Tuesday. He said that the decision comes as demonstrators across the nation protest the death of black people at the hands of police and criminal and expose the corruption that lies within the criminal justice system. The false conviction of Bill Cosby is so much bigger than him. It's about the destruction of all black people and people of color in America, Wyatt said in a statement. Cosby Constan, Andrea Constan, who a former basket, professional basketball player who now does outreach to sex assault victims, asked the appeals court Tuesday to not allow Cosby's wealth, fame, and fortune to win an escape from his malfeasance, ma malignant, and downright criminal past. Now, you read here, question about the encounter with her in the 2006 deposition. Cosby described being on his couch and putting his hand down her pants after giving her three pills. He identified as Benadryl. Constan said that they made her pass out. I don't hear any, her say anything, and I don't feel her say anything, and so I continue, and I go into this area that is somewhere between permission and rejection. I am not stopped. Legal experts said the appellate review could help clarify when judges should allow prior bad act testimony. Now that was very important because the women in the case, five of the women, had all claimed, some have even claimed that Bill Cosby didn't drug them. Uh, one lady who was a known drug addict, uh, or a few of them were drug addicts, they were also quaalude dealers themselves. Um, you know, one lady who testified, and I talked about her before, uh, Shalena Lasha, who's the black woman that is always crying. She had a goddamn uh, warrant out for her arrest and was allowed to testify. <laughs> I'm sorry for blaspheming, Lord, but I mean, my goodness, I was just outraged when I learned that. You know, that should never have been allowed, and I hope his attorneys are going to mention that. Some legal experts have commented on this. Uh, let's see here. Lawyer Brian Perry argued in the appeal that letting other accusers testify in Me Too cases flips constitutional jurisprudence on its head and the presumption of guilt rather than the presumption of innocence becomes the premise absolutely the presumption of guilt is certainly there and this judge who was the trial judge in that case uh, Stephen O'Neill he allowed the five other women to testify in the second trial but previously as you see here the previous trial in 2017 he only allowed one to testify so where did he come up with that uh, idea to let five more accusers testify rather than one? How did he make that judgment? And he provided no uh, decision to Bill Cosby's defense attorneys, no reasoning uh, to the defense attorneys, I should say. Uh, this was explained in my interview with Scott Ross. You all should check that out on the YouTube channel as well. I'll post a link to it. But... Uh, Yes, I certainly, and O'Neill alludes to, obviously, the prior bad act women in his post-trial opinion. He also admitted this in the sentencing. In each instance, he met a substantially younger woman, gained her trust, invited her to a place where he was along with her, provided her with a drink or drug, and sexually assaulted her once she was rendered incapacitated, O'Neill wrote in his post-trial opinion. These chilling similarities rendered their testimony admissible. Admissible. There's only one problem, though. All of the women did not say Bill Cosby drugged them. One lady who was allowed to testify, uh, I'm, her name escapes me right now. I'm sorry, ma'am. But she admitted that she had came to Bill Cosby's party with a girlfriend, I believe, previously high already. And could not assume, testify as to whether Bill Cosby had drugged her or not. Other women were allowed to testify to mention uh, one lady who stated that she just wanted to put a rapist behind bars or something along those lines, uh, which Tom Mesereau had immediately jumped up 
and wanted a mistrial. The judge denied that. He denied the mistrial the first time when Shalane Alasha told Mr. Mr. Cosby, do you remember me? And right then and there, and this was on the witness stand, as you know, in the fifth, uh, in criminal justice system, the defendant has a right to uh, against self-incrimination, meaning he doesn't have to answer any questions uh, unless he wants to testify at trial, which is his right not to. And so by her mentioning those statements and making that claim in front of the jury, it was certainly uh, prejudicial. And uh, I think that all of this stuff needs to come out. Uh, you know, so this is a big victory for Bill Cosby. All we can do now, family, is just stay tuned. The link to this article, as well as to the uh, article from YC News, will be in the description box. Please subscribe to this channel, GBU2786. Share, share this uh, video. Like this video. Donate to the channel as well at Cash App G uh, Gavin Richard Esquire, uh, as well as Google Pay Gavin G which one at Gmail .com. I will have all of those in the description, please. And also subscribe to the Patreon. That description will be in the. Uh, that link will be in the description box. I'm sorry, guys. It's late tonight as well. So, guys, just uh, more news to come on this. Uh, stay tuned. Peace out.